Hi ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old den of tools. And it is 4th of July weekend, so we're, it's time to find some savings over at the old Harbor Freight. We got their 4th of July holiday sale going on right now. 20% off for everyone, 25% off for inside track club members. And I know you're like, but Bear, there's a huge asterisk on it. Yeah, yeah, slow down. We know there's a whole bunch of stuff that's called out that you can't buy. And you're like, oh, this thing's just worthless. Well, the Bear's here to poke holes in it and help you find the stuff that you can get some big old savings on over at the freight. So let's jump into it. Now, the big call outs besides the usual, like you can't get open box, you can't buy gift cards is... The Atlas Bauer Central Machinery Cover Pro Hercules and Predator brands are completely restricted, as are compressors, generators, jacks, miter saws, safes, storage cabinets, chest carts, and welders. Now you're like, well, there's nothing left, right? Oh, please. Come on. This is what the bear does. How about this? Six-inch swivel vise with anvil and pipe, $229.99 is the list price. I got to tell you, now, full disclosure, Harbor Freight did send me one of these for review. I did a quick little video on it. As you can tell, it, it's a pretty solid vise. It's a good one to have. So, uh, let's see here. That's going to take you down to about $172. Where else are you going to get a six-inch swivel vise like this for $172? All right, how about this? The Earthquake XT267. That thing is a sweetheart of a deal. That's going to take you down to what, $200.75, something like that. Now, you may be thinking like, well, Bear, I don't want to get into Earthquake. It's a dead system. It's going away. And that might be true at Harbor Freight. But guess what? AC Delco still uses this exact same platform. Compatible batteries, compatible chargers, other accessories. And they're made by a company, I believe it's called Durofix. Let's jump over here. We're on Amazon here. Here's the Durofix platform, 20 volt, same batteries as far as I can tell. Because look at this is they're all there's the AC Delco 12 volt. There's the AC or the Durofix 12 volt. As I can tell here, all the, the 20 volt stuff is exactly the same. You can use similar chargers. Look at this. They even have this big old battery on it. This oh, that's a 60 volt. You're not gonna be able to use that one. Uh, but anyway, they've got a lot of stuff. Look at this, they've got a dual. <laughs> That's like the Ingersoll Rand makes one like that. That's pretty cool. Anyway, there are other accessories out there that you can get, so you might want to consider that. All right, moving along. We've got over here, we've got the Diamondback Wet Tile Saw with Sliding Table. Remember, a few years back, I tested one of these. These things are fun to play with, and they do a great job. 329, three, let's call it 330. That's close enough there. So let's do the old calculator bit on this. 330 times 0 0.75, 250, 247.50 on that. If you're looking to do some uh, some tile work, it, you know, I've cut bricks with it. You've cut stone with it. You can cut all sorts of stuff with these saws. Great deal on that one. Again, it's not excluded. How about this one? And I'm saving the best for last. Trust me, I am saving the best for last. You, if you like that new uh, the new Admiral saw, you're looking for something cheap for a quick little portable saw you can just throw in the back of the pickup truck or something. How about this? 190 on that one times 0.75. That's going to take you down $142. That's a real step up above that little basic warrior thing if that's what you've been talking about. $142 for that. There isn't a table saw out right now that comes close to that. Let's keep going here. What else we got for you? Remember, there's. I love all the people saying, well, there's nothing. That's all bad. How about this? All of the Icon hand tools. All of those. These things are fantastic. This And, and all of, you can get all of these on sale. This The Metric Professional Ratcheting Combination Wrench Set. I have this. This is my favorite ratcheting wrench set that I've used. This, this is fantastic. Tons and tons of Icon stuff. All of it you can still use. 25% on. So if you've been looking to step up your, your hand tool game, that's the way to go. And we've talked about this one before, and I had checked with my contact. We guaranteed before that's available. If you have a problem, show them, show them how it says, where it says that this isn't included because the Quinn Master Set, 428 piece, set 400, $300. That is a 420 piece one and done set. You got ratcheting wrenches, you got no skip sockets, you got look at it, one, two, three ratchets in there, all the extensions, all the socket bit adapters you'd want, wrenches, adjustable wrenches, screwdrivers. This is a great DIY or even just getting started tech kind of set there. All right, now let's see what else we got. We all oh, we can't do jacks, right? They said 
They said no jacks. That's a shame because they didn't say no jack stands. The brand new redesigned six ton. This is with the locking key. This is a double, triple safety on this thing here. So you got the six ton for the combined set there. This is a nice set. $75. Oh, come on. That's, we're not going to pay $75 for how much are we paying here? 75 times 0.75. $56 on that. It's time to grab you a set or two of those. What else we got? Well, how about this one? We got the wrench here with the synthetic rope. This is the big boy Badland Apex wrench. Wench. Now, you've seen, if you've been watching Matt's Off-Road Recovery, he uses one of those. Tons of Jeepers are using this. I see him everywhere. I see him all down in, in Boulder City. I see him up here in Montana. Tons of off-roaders are realizing how good these things are and switching over to them. Yeah, Warren makes a great, you know, a great winch and all, but you know what? They're pricey as all can be, and you're getting, you know, what ninety percent of the bang in the buck there for a, what a third the price. Anyway, let's we're talking about the price on this. It's six fifty. Let's put that that savings on there. How about four eighty seven for a twelve hundred pound with synthetic rope and a remote? That's a fantastic deal. All right, let's see what else we got here. We got, oh, how about a combo LED light bar there to put up on top of the old Jeep? Was $180? Well, we're not going to pay that. We're going to use our little coupon on that. So instead of $180, we're paying, oh, $135. Remember, there's nothing good, nothing good over Harbor Freight, right? Uh, let's see what else we can get here. How about this? The ZR115S OBD2 Code Reader. This is one of their new higher line. They Remember, they just redid the entire Zerk line of OBD2 readers. These things are actually pretty decent. 330 on that one times 0.75. You're getting a top line one here. $247. 247 all right, what else can we use on here? How about this clamp meter? I have this clamp meter. Harbor Freight sent this to me years ago. I use it every day. We just used it working on my son's Jeep. He's got a 96 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee that we're turning into an Overland Overland kind of build. Kind of a light Overland build. More of a daily driver, but still have some fun with it. It had a an issue with a battery drain kind of leak that was going on. We had to chase that sucker down. We used this and... You know, we just, we found that within like five minutes. It was super easy after, you know, getting the multimeter on there and be able to, you know, isolate the different uh, circuits and stuff. So hundred bucks on that, it's going to be $75 for a good clamp meter. That is something that's awesome to have. All right, let's see what else we got. How about a 3,000 watt continuous, th or, uh, so yeah, 3,000 watt continuous, 6,000 watt peak pure sine wave inverter you're doing a van build you're doing any kind of conversion doing some solar cell kind of stuff like that six hundred dollars let's see what we're going to be paying on that one let me do the old math six hundred times 0 0.75 450 450 on that one how about let's see here we've got some more automotive jump starter this is the big boy 3400 peak amps 12 volt 24 volt Jump started 330 on that one. We just did 330 on something. How before? How much was that? 330 times 0.75. We're looking at 250 on that. All right. Now the best one. I'm saving it for last. All right. So let's see what it is. What do you think it is? This is you know. Remember, uh, lots of people on. You'll see them on the message boards and stuff talking about. You know. Oh, it's worthless. You know the coupons are worthless. Yada yada yada. You know, they're just, you just got to think outside of the box. Think about what's really there that's not listed that you've been thinking about in the back of your mind. You know, I could really use that. Like, say, maybe a 1,700-pound capacity, 48-inch by 98-inch Super Duty folding trailer. $550. Price on that is now $412. Tell me where else you can get a, a quality utility trailer like this. Nice And the folding bit, man, if you've got a small garage or something... Or if you got a little area on the side of the house, you need to use this kind of thing, but you just don't have the space for a full-size trailer, this is the way to go. The folding trailer, $412. That is a fantastic deal. And again, it's not called out anywhere in this, in the, you know, what's limited on there. They, they try to limit a lot of stuff, but they never seem to cover it all, and that's what the bear does. We find the gaps there, and we find you the big savings. You know, if you if you liked what you found here, give us a, you know, chop the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the other savings and stuff like that. Also, big news, wanted to wait till the end here for those of you who, you know, the faithful on the channel and stuff. We got a line on a new shop that hopefully uh, this next month, or this month, I guess now since it's July, 
we're going to be moving into. And once we get set up, we're going to get back. We're going to get more of the tool reviews. We're going to do some welding stuff, all sorts of stuff. Also, we got a video coming up showing you all the stuff we've been fixing on the Jeep and whatnot, so you can follow along with that build as well. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Anyway, that's all the bear has for you today. I hope you all have a fun and safe 4th of July. Let freedom ring. You know, celebrating the fine the birth of this fine country that we all love. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.